and we go out to the Corky's Hotline and we say hello to Tony Bland, assistant he- assistant coach with San Diego State, who you can really find on Twitter. He is very very active out there on Twitter. Tony Bland 04. He joins us now on San Diego Sports Leader Double X 1090. Tony, how are you? I'm doing great. How you guys doing? We are doing very well, thank you. Where do we find you today? You in San Diego? I am in San Diego at the barber shop. I'm about to get a nice haircut before I go to practice. Barber shop before you go to practice. Okay. Well, that sounds like a very active afternoon. I hope you're going to sport clips, but I won't put you on the spot with that one. Congratulations. Big day for San Diego State yesterday. Huge day. Huge day. Now, I just want to say Winston Shepard. I couldn't say it now. I've been wanting to say that for a while on your show, so I just want to get that out the way. All right, good. Well, now tell us who Winston Shepard is. He is uh, an asset, first and foremost. Mm-hmm. He is a 6'8", 6'9", maybe taller guy that can play all over the court. You can use him in uh, many ways. I'm pretty sure uh, uh, Mark Fisher will have a lot of fun figuring out how he's going to use him offensively. Uh, Dutch and Coach Fish and I have a lot of fun in figuring out how he's going to stop the uh, uh, other guy uh, from scoring. And we're going to have fun with him. How does he? How do you find him? I'm sure that in recruiting circles, he was a name. Yeah, you know, maybe people who don't follow recruiting as closely as you guys do. Maybe this name is a little bit of a surprise. When does a player like Winston Shepard get on your radar screen? You know what? It's funny because uh, when Coach hired me, he sent me out right away to uh, to uh, go and evaluate some guys and you know kind of see who he wanted to recruit. And he gave me a list. And Mark already um, been recruiting some guys, so he gave me a list of guys to see also. So um, when I went to see the Dream Vision team play, they said, hey, it's the number one player on the country. You guys might not be able to get him, but his name is, is uh, you know, uh, Shabazz Muhammad. Go watch him. And um, so I went to watch the Dream Vision team play, and I thought Winston was the number one player in the country. So I'm <laughs> like, oh, I'm, I'm recruiting this Shabazz guy. And uh, come to find out, luckily for us, it wasn't. Um, Shabazz, it was Winston, and I still think he's the best player in the country. So, and then as it turns out yesterday, very famously, Shabazz ends up going and signing with UCLA. Winston ends up signing with you guys. Did you recruit Shabazz Muhammad at all? I did not. I did not. And and, and uh, since you said that, all I want to say is fireworks. We will play those guys. Uh, when do we play them? We play them at the Honda Center, right? You do. I think, it's, I think December 1st, and people can actually find tickets. They can go and they can get in touch with San Diego State if they want because they, they, tickets – they're already taking ticket requests. Listen, we play we play my former school, Big East, Syracuse mm-hmm. University in the Midway. That's going to be an awesome game. I think I'm, you know, I might be more excited than anybody about that game. But <laughs> when Winston Shepard and Shabazz Muhammad and the Aztecs and the Bruins uh, go at each other at, in Anaheim, that may be one of the best college basketball games of all time. Kentucky Duke, no. The Aztecs Bruins is next year is going to be a great game to watch. Now, how you guys are so excited about that UCLA game after all the years where they didn't want to play you guys? I'm sure privately behind the scenes, you guys are all high fiving each other. Can't wait to play UCLA. Well, yeah, we were very excited until uh, we heard the news about them getting the, the number one recruiting class in the country. <laughs> no, nah, I'm joking. We're, <laughs> we're, we're excited. We can't wait to play those guys. It'll be a great opportunity for us. It'll be a great opportunity for our program. And, uh, you know, I know those guys are excited to play us, too. You know, they've been hearing, you know, us cause a lot of stink Mm -hmm. out here in San Diego. So, you know, we'll both be ready to lace them up and go at each other. We're talking to Tony Bland on Twitter at TonyBland04. Joins us on San Diego Sports Leader Double X 1090. So he signed yesterday. How much of a relief is it for you when they actually sign? Because they can tell you verbally that they're going to come here. But until they sign, they're not signed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, obviously in uh, uh, we've had to deal with that in the past, but this year I was confident that they were fine. You know, his mom gave me her word. He gave me his word and they're loyal people. And, you know, they did a great job of uh, staying true to their words and we're excited to have them on board. So how'd you do it? How'd you get it done? How'd you convince him San Diego state's the place he should play college? You know, it's a lot of selling coach Fisher and coach Betcher. You know, I, I, I haven't did anything, you know, they like, they like the offense Mark Fisher run and you got to sell, Coach Fisher, he won national championships. He put guys in the NBA. You sell the city of San Diego. You know, who, who don't want to come play in America's finest city? You sell who we're playing next year. And, you, I mean, it's just a bunch of stuff you can sell. And uh, we were selling it, and he was buying it. And he wants to come play with the guys that we have coming back next year. And we're just happy about it. He, he, he was excited about uh, Skyler Spencer and Shrigley coming in. And we're just, we're, he was just excited and happy about the whole thing. You know what? He's a very smart guy. He saw that. 
you know, he has the opportunity to be a part of something special over here. And, you know, we just let him realize what he's going to be doing, and he, he wants to do it. Well, he and he did. He identified you, Tony, and he said, hey, uh, a guy like that, he's gone through it. He's been in other places. He had other options. I, he said very, very good things about you and the way you handled this whole situation and the way you recruited him. So I would have to think that that probably feels pretty good to hear a guy like that identify you as one of the main reasons why he wants to come here. I mean, it feels good. I feel good for him to for him to give me some credit. But you know, it's it's a it's a team it's a team thing for us. You know, we all work together. You know, without Coach Fisher and Coach Dutcher and Mark and and everyone else, I wouldn't have been able to have the uh, the freedom to to go recruiting the way I did. And you know, I was able to to miss a practice or two because those guys are so good at what they do. It allows me to be gone a little more. So, you know, it's a team thing, and and I'm just happy that we were able to come together and get a player. Come on, how much? The highest rated player straight out of high school in San Diego State history, that is huge. You know, we did a great job, and I think he'll be great for us. Well, tell us a little. I mean, he does have a future in the NBA, right? I know nobody wants to get too far ahead of themselves, but at least today it would be fair to say that at some point you can expect to see this guy playing professionally. I don't want to get too far ahead of himself. I do. Yeah, he's an NBA player. I think I've been around the NBA for a while. I think it definitely has NBA talent. You know, I'm not. You know, I don't know when, but for sure he has the ability to play in the NBA, and I think that's a testament to where this program is going. I think in the in near future we'll be we'll see a bunch of guys that are NBA caliber players coming here and playing for the Aztecs. Now, I mean, is he the kind of player that if there this rule weren't in place that you have to go and play, or or you can't get drafted until you're 19 years old? Is he the kind of player who you think might go straight to the pros if the rules were different? No, he, he, he wants to experience the college life. I mean, do he have the ability to? I think so. But I think he want, I would think he wants to experience the college life. He, he wants to go and, and go in classes and be in the dorm rooms and hang out with his, his quote-unquote bros. I want to hang out with my bros. So, <laughs> so he wants to go and he wants to experience all of that. And, 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 and I think he should, you know? I, I th- well, I, uh, you'll never going to hear me complain about guys who want to go to college or who want to experience <laughs> college as well. But, man, I think it's such a big deal, Tony, from this regard that – when you are a player like this and people are predicting that you're going to be an NBA player somewhere down the road, a lot of these decisions are made on, well, how is that school going to help me get to the next level? And I think it speaks volumes about San Diego State that he made this decision with all these other options, knowing that somewhere down the road the NBA is a realistic possibility for him. I agree. I agree. And, and if I had it to do all over, I probably would. I mean, love Syracuse every moment of it, but I probably would do the same thing he just did with where this program is now. You know, you have a great coach and you have guys that are able. Hey, come on. Who else? Is, Jamal Franklin threw the ball off the glass during the game and dunked it. You know, <laughs> come on. Like, like how many coaches will, will allow you to do that? You know, and, you know, how many how many places were you going to go and average six minutes a game and next year be on everybody's NBA radar? Mm-hmm. You know, so this is a great place for guys to come and have freedom. And at the same time, Coach Fisher is great at making sure everyone is doing what they need to do in the classroom and is, and you're being good citizens in the community. You guys are going to have a lot of expectations on you next year. How do you feel about managing all the expectations from people that think right now you're a top 15, top 10 team? Um, I mean, I'm excited about it. I'm excited about it. I, I don't know how the rest of the guys feel, but I think that, that uh, we're going to work hard. I think that we're going to put ourselves in a position to be that team everyone expects us to be uh, when the season comes next year. And, and, again, I think that our culture staff will make sure that we're in a position and our players will work hard enough to put themselves in a position to, to be there. Well, congratulations. Uh, that's, you know, how many players have you directly helped recruit to San Diego State? I think we, we, we all have the, the, you know, we all do our input with all of them. So it's a team thing, D. It's, it's a, a team, team thing. thing. With all of us, D. <laughs> you're a team. I know. Okay, okay, I got it. You're, you're a team player. You're a team guy. I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm just going to say, this is, I mean, yeah, this is a potential – this is the kind of thing where it's like, wow, it's a game changer to recruit a player like this. Huh. Right, right. And, and the crazy part about it is, the, now we're able to, to, to go in the homes of top 15, top – he's 21 in the country. We were able to go in the home of top 25 players and say, hey, look, we have, you're not the – we have this guy. Look at what he's going to do. Now you need to come do this too. So it, it opens up the whole door, you know. Could you have recruited this player 10 years ago to San Diego State? It would have been hard. It would have been hard because a lot of – you know, it, it's – He's been a trouble, but it's hard for guys to come and say, hey, I'm going to be the first one to do this. Mm-hmm. You know, it's hard for guys to do that. It's, it's, it's easy to go and see, hey, this guy did it before. They sent this guy to you, the NBA. He's been an All-American from this place. 
but when you're the first guy to do it, it's 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 hard. And um, you know, me personally coming back from Syracuse, I don't know if I would have went there, you know, right out of high school. Mm-hmm. But now the where the program is, yeah, it's easier. Well, hey, congrats not only to you but to the whole program. Uh, I mean, what what a what a day, what a couple of days, what a couple of years for San Diego State. What do you got next? Now you got a little practice, and then what? You get the whole summer off? Practice, and there is no off time. You got to go and, and try to work on the guys uh, to uh, come <laughs> in after after the seniors leave next year. So it's a it's a revolving door. It's a never ending cycle. We got to keep going and keep trying to improve this program, and you know, try to take it to an even higher level. Love it. Tony, thanks. As always, a pleasure. Thanks. Appreciate it.